So today we're going to the Oneida Gun Club so that we can put some shots down range and um, get some cool video of that. I think it'd be useful to have video of us of ourselves shooting so that we can critique ourselves and see what it's what we can work on, what we can improve. I know I'm concerned with my posture when I'm shooting. I'd like to see what it looks like when I'm shooting. Right. Uh, I think we've spent a lot of time studying, right? We've been watching a lot of videos and doing a lot of research. And um, I guess backstory is we, uh, it's March 26th they're about it's about the third week of March and um, coronavirus happens we get on lockdown and um, safer at home orders go into effect right so what better time to start a new hobby and that's kind of our thing is <laughs> new that, hobbies. yeah <laughs> so we're infamous for starting new hobbies new projects um, and this was one that we box that we haven't checked before. So I feel like uh, we we went out and we purchased uh, some pistols. I bought a Smith and Wesson M and P nine millimeter pistol. I got a Stoger SDR nine. Right. So neither of us have we've been to the range before. We, we had gone shooting before, we had a date night at the range before, mm -hmm. uh, but we've never thought about owning pistols, right? I've thought about it. I have not. <laughs> I've thought about I, it for years. I've never really thought about owning a gun. <laughs> Why would you, what was your thought behind having a pistol? I have considered um, purchasing and carrying a pistol for many, many years because I was doing and traveling a lot by myself and meeting with strangers in weird places all the time. It's concerning. It's worrisome sometimes. And so I was thinking uh, of doing that for just my own safety and also for when we're out in the woods, uh, specifically horseback riding. You know, if anything happens out in the woods, I could protect myself and whoever I'm with. And also, if anything happens to my horse, say it breaks a leg and we're out in the middle of nowhere and it's irreparable, I could do what needs to be done and not let my horse suffer. Right. But, so, why not? It's an outdoor activity um, or you can be indoor activity. It's either or. Very versatile if you want to practice um, self-defense. Um, if you wanted to carry it for self-defense purposes. We get the guns and we pass the background check. But in the meantime, we're kind of talking. Figure, okay, let's get our concealed carry license, right? We want to be safe. We want to be uh, educated. We want to be lawful. Ammunition's kind of hard to find, but we were able to find some ammunition. So we have, uh, in the state of Wisconsin, the ranges were still open. And we went to a couple different ranges, tried a couple places out. It's expensive. For those of you who don't know and don't have a piece of property where you can go and just shoot on your property, it's expensive as heck. So between the two of us, going out and shooting for an hour, 35 bucks? Yeah. Right? And we were looking at a membership was... Hundreds of dollars. Yeah, 300 bucks at one place. And I found the Oneida Sportsman's Club for 40 bucks a year. But you, you practice the fundamentals. Practice makes perfect. It's just not one of those things that you automatically be good at. Right. right. What we didn't want to do when we bought these guns was buy them, carry them, and not practice with them. Right. I think that's a big, big component of being a firearms owner is that you should practice with the firearms that you have. So, I don't think that I would be carrying right now if we hadn't been practicing so much. Because right. when we first got the guns, it was so intimidating and I was so nervous about having a gun on me, even with 
no ammunition in it. Um, and now I can carry with a loaded magazine and I'm very comfortable with it and I feel that's because we've gone so many times and, and you know, practiced everything, loading the gun, making sure it's free and clear and right. you know, in the meantime, it's a super fun hobby. I love shooting. Yeah. I love going to the range. I got another one. Cool. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> what were what was going on here? Where did where do you think you started and where do you think you ended on your grouping? So I started I was aiming for bullseye here, center mass. And I think, you know, most of them were in that general area. A couple down here, I don't know where those came from. I couldn't really see where they were going while I was shooting. It's not the reactive target. But then I was aiming for this and didn't hit it at all. I'm thinking these must be that. I'm usually a little low left and then uh, at the end there I was aiming for this and I'm assuming these are from that so as I picked up speed I was trying to pick up speed right and practice shooting faster too it's just less accurate really okay because yeah. I mean I started off really slow and and some of them are, are right in there you got a bullseye you got an yeah. X mm -hmm. nice job way to go <laughs> Very fast. There we go. Okay.
what I was trying to do here. I was all over the board. I, I usually am. But um, usually going for bullseye to start. And um, I know, I noticed that I was going, I go left a lot. And I don't know what that's from. Um, but pretty much I, I was just going between these two. I had some good good ones on, but um, it seems like the faster I, I went, I feel like this is me going fast. It just starts weaving around. But overall, I'm, I'm not too, too uh, disappointed. I didn't hit the bullseye like Cassie did. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good.